Okay, so situation one. The force P prevents the 375 Newton's pole from falling. The pole is supported by a ball and socket joint at A and leans against a frictionless wall at B. Okay, that one. So the required questions or problems is find the required P, this one, find the reaction at B, and find the total reaction at A, that one. Okay, so first of all, um, at point A, that is a ball and socket joint. So that is just a similar sa ating, kumbaga, in plain view or 2D view, that is pin. Okay, that will prevent translation at any um, direction. In this case, so ginagawa natin is we have these three components of reaction dito. Okay, that is AX, AY, and AZ. Again, this is just similar sa ating pin. In 2D, uh, we have only AX or RX, then RY. Dito, since this is three-dimensional, so this will have three-component reaction dito. Okay, and dito naman, that is a plain wall or, okay, that is plain wall and that is frictionless. So the reaction at B is just normal force dito sa plane. Okay, so how can we do this? Find the required force at P, that one. So best option dito is to um, look at a plain view. Okay, look at this. Okay, so of course, my 375 Newton's weight yan. And that one, free body diagram natin. Okay, Assu assuming that the forces are in that direction or the reactions. Okay, and yung force at B natin or the reaction at B should be normal to this um, wall dito. Okay, now I will do this. Find the re required force P in Newtons. Okay, so ito yon. This normal reaction at B, if you can see, that is aligned or parallel to this Z axis. Dapat yan. Of course, okay, look at the XY plane. Okay? Kung itong XY plane yung titingnan natin, ano yung makikita natin sa drawing na ito? Okay, balik ko lang. So, in this case, looking at that plane, okay, so ito yung point O. So, our Z axis dito will be dot na lang or point. Hindi na natin yan makikita. Okay, ang makikita natin is the um, y and the x axis. Okay, so this pole, this point A is makikita natin dito. That one. Okay, yan yung point A. And ito yung point B. Okay, so as you can see, no, parang naka plain view na lang tayo. Okay, so this is just the um, axis from A to that um, x natin. Okay, that one. Now, of course, ito yung force P which is 45 degrees with the horizontal. This is the weight, 375 newtons. Ang makikita natin component sa force dito is AY and AX. So, ang AZ dito is nakadat na lang yan or point na lang yung makikita natin. Kung baga, maneglect na natin yan dito sa free body natin dito. Okay? So, how can we calculate our force P dito? By just summing up moment about A. Yan yung pinakamadali. Okay? So, that done. Of course, yung NB dito, hindi na natin yan makikita. Okay, naka-point lang din yan. That is parallel sa Z-axis natin. Now, of course, this is 3.15. That is 4 meters. Okay, summation of moment about A tayo. So, we need to know this. Of course, this is just half ng 3.15 or 1.575 meters. Claro. Okay. Okay, summation of moment about A. Okay, parallel to the z-axis, yung axis na ito. Okay, or by just looking at this summation of moment about A. Now, that, uh, the moment that we are considering here is about this axis, okay? To be clear lang. So, that should be P cosine of 45, the um, horizontal component of this P, times the moment arm na 4, then the vertical component, P sine of 45 times moment arm na 3.15. Okay? Then, minus 375 minus 1.575. That will cause counterclockwise rotation. Then, equate to 0. Then, our P here is 116.82 newtons. Okay? Klaro lang? Now, let's move to part 2. Find the reaction at B naman. Yung NB. Okay, so how can we 
um, C, D force, and B. Sa ang plane tayo titingin. Pinakamadali. Okay, it can be dito, no? This plane, um, Z, Y plane. Um, of course, it can be in um, dito sa ating um x z plane dito sa taas kung baga titingin tayo sa sa, uh, sa top view okay but i prepared here um uh, dito sa z y plane okay dito okay pwede rin dito sa taas okay but ito yung na prepare ko na solution looking at that plane okay that one i hope you can imagine this no okay so pinaka essential in calcul i mean in dealing with uh, mechanics problem is to imagine talaga. Okay? Kahit saan ka tumingin. Pa, dapat ma-imagine mo yung mechanism. Okay, that, wa that one. So, looking at the YZ plane, ito yung point O, ito yung axis natin. Okay, nakatingin tayo dito. Ito yung point O at here, uh, parallel dito yung x-axis. I mean, I mean that is perpendicular yung x-axis natin dito. Okay, this is the pole. Ito yung point A, then that will be the point B. Okay? Of course, yung reaction dyan is AY and we have AZ. Makikita na natin to. Ang di, hindi natin makikita dito is yung AX. Okay? That one because that is perpendicular to this YZ plane. And at that point B, and of course, uh, the weight can be seen, of course, no? That is always uh, vertical or um, vertically downward. That is a gravity load. We have this and B dito. Makikita natin yan. And anong P yung makikita natin dyan? Can we see this force P? Okay, look at this. This force P can be um, explode into components, no? Resolve into components. That is the PX and that is the PY. Now, yung PX natin dito, hindi na natin makikita yan. That will be a dot. Ang makikita natin dito is yung PY. That one. Okay? And of course, that is P sine of 45. And we have this value of P dito. Okay. Now, in this case, we can solve our B by summation of moment about A pa rin. Okay. Klaro? So, these are the distances. Okay. Follow lang. And of course, ito, that is half ng 3.15. Now, I will sum up moment about A dito. Okay. Summation of moment about A um, parallel sa x-axis, that one. Parang nag-moment tayo at this axis. Okay? So, that will be at 375 times 1.575. Then, uh, this P will create counterclockwise moment. P, that is 116.82 uh, sine of 45 times the moment arm na 3.15. Then, this NB times 4. Okay? Then, we got our NB dito. Okay? Madali lang. Okay, part 3. Find the total reaction at A. So, to calculate the total reaction at A, we must have these three component of forces dito. Okay? And take note pala, no? This member is not a two-force member. Okay, ano yung hint dito? Pag may load or may um, weight in between this body, we cannot say that this is a two-force member. If walang load between this body, then that is a two-force member. Then our force here must be a axial force, kumbaga. Okay, but in this case, my load dito, we cannot just say that this is this will be having an axial force. Okay, so we need to calculate talaga ito. AX, AY, and AZ. So how can we do that? Okay, by summation of forces along X. Okay, look at the forces that is along X. So, this is just AX and this component of the P, PX dito. Okay, so as you can see, AX is just equals to P cosine of 45 degrees or that is 82.6. Then, summation of forces along Y. Okay, so look at the forces that is involved dito in the vertical direction. And that will be AY, then plus P sine of 45 Okay, itong vertical component dito. Then, minus the weight, 375. And we have AY here. Then, summation of forces along Z. So, ano yung mga forces um, along Z axis? So, ito lang yun. AZ is just equals to NB. That one. And we have this. 
the RA is just the square root of AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared. So if we will substitute that, ito yung RA natin. Okay, klaro? Okay, so let's have another example. Okay. This one. Board problem pa rin. So, the table shown is to be lifted by a force T um, without tilting. Okay, so this one. The weight of the table is 420 newtons. Okay, so if A is 0.5 meters, saan yung A dito? This one. If this is 0.5 meters, find the force T in newtons to lift the table without tilting. Okay, kumbaga, dapat in equilibrium siya. Ano yung um, required T natin? Okay, so again, in 3D mechanics, technique is to look at a plane view. Okay, so mas maganda siguro na tingnan natin siya dito sa view na ito. Okay, klaro ba? Balik ko. So, titingin tayo dito sa plane view na ito. Okay, sa mukhang ito. Then, if we will look at that point, Ganito yan. Okay, of course, nasa likod yung 120 newtons sa kabilang banda. Okay? Ito yung T, that is the 90 newtons, nasa kabilang banda yan. But we are considering this plain view. So, if we will sum uh, do summation of moment about X, okay? Since we have the value of A dito as 1.5, we can just simply solve our T. Or kahit dito tayo mag-moment, we can just simply solve that. Okay? So, summation of moment about this force 3. Dito tayo mag-moment about this line. Okay? And, uy, bakit nauna yan? Okay, nauna yung box na. So, that will be um, this weight, 420 times 1. Okay, minus T. Then, the moment arm from here, that is a 1 plus A. Claro? Okay, that is 1 plus 0.5. Then, um, uh, counterclockwise pa rin, 90 times moment arm is 2 and we have here 160 newtons ok, nauna yung box no? ok, so ganito lang yan titingin lang tayo sa isang view ok, so another example I mean another uh, problem ok, number 2 if A is 0.75 and T is 120 newtons what is the maximum weight of the table without tilting. Okay? Dito naman, ang hinahanap is yung W max. Okay? The same plane pa rin. We can just solve this. Ito yung unknown. We have the value of A. We have the value of T. So, how can we solve that? Actually, um, okay, again, um, this is without tilting. So, we need to consider the moment. Summation of moment about F3 pa rin ako. Okay? That will be W max times 1. Uh, minus 120 the moment arm actually the same equation lang kanina no but pinagpalit lang natin yung unknown yung w max yung unknown dito kanina is the t now here in this case may t na tayo then we have the w um, we have unknown w max and we have this answer okay madali lang walang challenge no okay how about this number 3 if A is 0.75, T is 120 newtons, find the value of F3 without tilting. Okay, so, in this case, hindi niya sinabi if yung weight natin na gagamitin is the same as the situation says. Okay, hindi niya sinabi. So, to be safe, para ma-eliminate natin to, yung W sa equation natin, dito tayo mag-moment. Okay, mag-moment tayo dito para hanapin yung F3. If we will take moment about this point, we have the value of A, we have the value of T, then ang matitirang unknown is F3. Okay, if we take moment at the other points kasi, ma-i-involve yung W, which is hindi natin alam or hindi na, hindi na specify sa problem if the same W pa rin ba ang gagamitin natin. Okay, to be safe, dito tayo mag-moment. Okay, summation of moment about this x-axis. Actually, this is the x-axis na ka-perpendicular dito. Okay, so by that, that will be F3 plus 120, the moment arm is 1, okay, will cause clockwise rotation, then minus 120 times A, that is 0.75, then minus 
90 the moment arm up to here that is 1 meters and we have our F3 okay so ganun lang 